This video shows how to manually add accounts to your chart of accounts one at a time in the Scara ERP. Another way to add accounts is to batch import them from an Excel or CSV spreadsheet, but that's discussed in another video. You need to be logged in to the Scara ERP as an administrator or as a user who is allowed to edit the chart of accounts. First, head on over to the Chart of Accounts Master, either by clicking the Chart of Accounts icon in the main dashboard page, or by going to the left menu, expanding Masters, and clicking Chart of Accounts. You'll see the Chart of Accounts, which is an organized list of all your general ledger accounts. This list would be empty if during the initial setup of the Scara ERP, you chose not to load default accounts, and instead chose to create your own from scratch. Click Add New Account. First, you must specify a mandatory code for the account. You can also specify an optional secondary alias code if your business requires it. Note that as you type, existing codes will appear, which is helpful for you to maintain any sort of sequence format to your account codes and to avoid keying in a code that's already in use by an existing account because the system does not allow for duplicate account codes and alias codes. You must also give a name for the account. As you type, existing matching account names will appear, which is helpful for you to maintain any sort of naming convention. You are allowed to specify a name that's already in use by an existing account. You may give an optional description to let your users better understand the purpose of the account, especially if its name isn't self-explanatory. Tick the Is Sub Account checkbox if you want this account to be a child account to a parent account. You can then choose its parent account from this drop down list. Parent and child accounts or sub accounts help you to organize your accounts in a multi level hierarchy, which can make long financial reports easier to browse through. You can set whether or not you want child accounts to appear in certain financial reports by going to System Controls, Financial Report Settings, and ticking or unticking these checkboxes. Here you select whether this account is for your balance sheet or for your profit and loss statement. If you select profit and loss, then under master type, it can only be a general ledger type of account. If you select balance sheet, you can then choose whether it's a general ledger account, cash account, bank account, or a tax account. All master types have more or less the same functionalities to that of a general ledger type of account, save for a few slight differences. For example, a GST type account is needed when you create a tax code to be used in transactions. General ledger type accounts cannot be used for creating bank reconciliation reports or defining payment methods for payment vouchers, and they don't show up in cash and bank book reports. Only cash and bank type accounts can be selected or viewed for those purposes. Next, you must choose what account group it belongs to because this is how the system knows whether it represents assets, liabilities, income, or expenses, and it's also the primary way of organizing your accounts for easier viewing as opposed to just using parent-child subaccounts. If your desired account group is not on the drop-down list, then click the green plus icon to add it. Give it its name, specify its nature, and use the parent group field to define where it belongs in the overall grouping hierarchy. Leaving the parent group field blank implies that it's in the top level group. Save your account group and then select it from the drop down list. On a side note, an easier way to create and manage groups is via the account groups subtab found under the chart of accounts module. These next few settings relate to the opening balance of the account. You should first set the creation date of the account, and in most cases, this date is on or before the book beginning date. Setting a date after the book beginning date will cause the opening balance, exchange rate, and currency fields to be grayed out. You must accurately key in the account's opening balance at the time of the book beginning date of your Descara system and it's your responsibility to make sure that it's properly balanced from the get-go. Next, you can optionally specify if the opening balance is a credit or debit type. You can only change the currency for cash and bank type accounts. Otherwise, it always defaults to your local currency and cannot be changed. 
If you choose a foreign currency, then the exchange rate field reflects the foreign currency exchange rate to your local currency at the account creation date. It is automatically filled and you cannot edit it from here because the value is derived elsewhere in your currency rate master. If the account creation date falls in a period where the exchange rate is undefined in the system, then you must go to your currency rate master to define the exchange rate for that period. If this account should directly impact a tax code, then select the tax code under the Map Tax field. Finally, save your new account. Your new account will now appear in the chart of accounts where you can view or edit it, and it's ready to be used in your accounting. That's all and thanks for watching.